Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by, especially for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. Us YouTube creators are annoying with that. Don't forget to hit the bell if you do want to get notifications when YouTube does send them out of the videos that I do. But in general, every day or so, I get a video up. It's been um, over five years now, starting our six year, uh, I say our, me, the channel and I, <laughs> sixth year of research. Um, if you appreciate this channel and you want to continue to see it remain here, please take the time to uh, share it or uh, take the time to speak about it, you know, once a month, once a year, it helps. That's how, you know, that's how I combat the algorithm if you want. Ladies and gents, this is today's sun. So we have another good video. We're going to go see uh, on the moon. We're going to see a UFO leaving the moon. We're going to see... Um, a little bunny rabbit I saw in my yard. Yes. No, just at the end of the video. Don't worry. <laughs> About five seconds. But I have a bunny in my yard. I love bunnies. They're so cute. Hey, guys. Check the flickering of the sun. So this is yesterday's sun. I was not able to get the sun today. But I did go and check on the internet. And it's very bad. Indonesia, uh, 12 hours after I said it, 7.3 on the Richter scale. Another earthquake. Um, southern hemisphere of the earth. That's where they hit. Uh, lots of tornadoes um, occurring in the United States. There's lots going on. And um, yeah, we just buzzed right through it, ladies and gents. That was today's sun. So as I always promise you, when the sun is active, I will capture it for you. And yes, bring it to your home. No, I'll get it on film. Check it out. Recent earthquake near United States. United States has had... M1.5 or greater, 84 earthquakes in 24 hours, 572 in seven days. Look at these numbers, almost 3,000 in 30 days and 40,000 for the year. NASA and scientists say there are large NEO objects, near Earth objects, that go by Earth and by the sun, between the sun and Earth, every 1.8 years a large asteroid too supposedly that goes by who says these objects that i capture every year and a half or two years aren't some of the ones that the scientists mentions here's a mysterious light that leaves the surface of the moon while i'm watching aldebaran So we heard a lot of things on the last report and the information that I was able to <sighs> gather up on the last video. There's a lot of information and, and we can't uh, see and hear everything, obviously. But I assure you from what we can um, read, there are a lot of changes coming. Maybe there will be some truth, some revealing. On the surface of the moon, there are objects that are constructed. Look at the lines going by this square object. I don't have to make them up or, or or force people, look guys, look. Well, you clearly see I'm showing you a square structure and there are many lines going over top of them, but it goes all the way down and connects to other mysteriously symmetrical objects as you take your time and you look over the surface of the moon. And here with a green filter, and you saw it before and after, there's no manipulation, right? Here, once again, no filtering, zoomed up, whether take into consideration refraction, take into consideration these colors can be wrong because we're in space, I get it. But there are patches that are appearing green in my camera, in my eye of my camera, while I'm filming the moon around the craters. What are these mysterious patches? Speaking of patches, check this out. I want you all to understand, it's very concerning. We're inside the Sinus Irida Mountains. There are patches here too. 
but under the patches, symmetrical object. You can see the square over to the left, but there's a patch. But look at where the patch leads to. Other patches that lead to, watch carefully, symmetrical platform-like objects built over the moon. Christian Mossy, uh, the French ufologist and paranormal um, researcher, studies all of this um, on also on Mars. And very recently posted, I'll get the link up in this video, posted on Mars these mysterious um, like objects that are over top of the surface. And I, it looks like toothpaste leaked over the surface. I called them the other day canopies, if you want. But this is more uh, structural than canopy. Check that out. Definitely not a plane. I'm seeing more UFOs in the sky there. In the back. I'll have to go back and look at the film, but of course you guys already saw it now, but I didn't. Looking through a little peephole here. And disappear now? You said hi? Bye. In the amendment, uh, Rubio Gallego amendment, we saw that they mentioned transmedium UFOs while we're looking at Pleiades here and watching the lights go by between Pleiades and I. Um, they talked about transmedium UFOs, meaning UFOs that are leaving the atmosphere and heading out into space. Further in the video, there's one that I literally saw materializing itself, very scary, that we're going to see right after this, along with, uh, this is infrared footage from two days ago, a couple of shots over Pleiades, and we'll see Venus as close as a bloody moon, and I'll come right back to talk to you once we get to that materializing UFO. Thanks for watching. Actually, I'm not going to get music up right away. I want to show you guys something. Explosions in space. I had a very lucky chance to capture, like, many of them. These objects, I tend to believe, if not sometimes UFOs, can be rocks colliding, asteroids colliding together. So these are giant rocks that collided together, made a flash beside Pleiades. Look at the lights and intensity of the lights of the stars in Pleiades also when this explosion occurs. Um, we're going to get in close enough to see the size of the rocks at least this there's we're limited with the tools that we have and devices and cameras but there's so much that we can do but we're not doing with them This is planet Venus, a conjunction of a whole bunch of planets lining themselves up. At the same time, from December 14th through the 25th, Christmas, Comet Leonard will be heading towards the sun. What was that? Can I get it? So one night, I'm outside filming. I see a UFO literally, for the first time, disappear, but in a streak, just like, yes, the Back to the Future movie. That's what appeared right beside the craft or unidentified aerial phenomena. The moment it disappeared, a point came to it. It looked like it literally got pointy, and then, all of a sudden, a streak across the sky. And it was instantaneous. That streak appeared and disappeared. And that's what we're seeing right there in slow motion. Captured the moment as it happened. Very, very lucky. They're watching the skies right now. They know something's up there, guys. More and more information's coming out um, by the Pentagon and the three branches of military. New task force is coming. I will keep you posted with all the info. This is a, a little wabbit in my yard for the winter living under the house. I don't mind having him as a neighbor. But look at his eyes buzzy. Look what's underneath him, though. 
I don't know what it is. And on the infrared camera, it's the second night that I see them and there's something glowing. Um, anyways, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm showing it to you. Looking at rabbits glowing. Anyways, it was trippy. Maybe I'm just losing it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to subscribe to this channel. Cause the slow's just coming soon Cause the slow's just coming soon